All right, y'all, how's it going? Uh, we're back on the water again. Uh, what I want to do today, uh, so every time I come out here, I, this is the one thing I wanted to cover. Every time I come out here, um, you know, I spend quite a bit of time out here, and the reason is because I want to find them big fish. Uh, you know, the 8, 10, 15 pounders, you know, the occasional 30 and 40 are good, uh, but I want to find that big fish. I want to find the biggest fish in that area, and sometimes that's the only thing that's in that area is, you know, is a couple 30s or a 40, but what I'm going to do today, I've got a, let's see, I'm going to say about a 300-yard stretch of river. Yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it down, okay? So right now where we're going to start, and the only reason why we're going to start here is because I know there's a barge coming and I don't want to be in his way. But I'm just going to, this, this 300 yard stretch of river, I'm going to start up on this, it's a, well basically it's a slick mud bank, right? So I'm going to stay on the, on the slope as it goes down because the main channel's over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come across this, I'm going to drag this up, where, and, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back, I'm going to move back, I'm going to go deeper, and then eventually end up in the deep holes on the other side over there. Um, just because I want to see if, uh, you know, these fish are moving up, you know, whatever the case may be. I, I don't see hardly any activity on this, uh, on this screen here, but we have zero current. Uh, that's the only problem we're going to run into today. So it's, well, as of right now, they're supposed to turn it on and we're supposed to get some current here in, here in a little bit. Uh, but it, we have none right now. Not, not here, we don't. So basically, them fish are just going to be they're either roaming or they're just chilling. Uh, so that's why I said I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drag this in. I'm going to come back and then I'm going to go a little bit further into the, the middle of the channel. And then I'm going to go all the way over to where the deep holes are and drag that. So I want to break down. Because uh, the thing is, is you know, everybody, and, and I went over this before in a couple of other videos, that they'll just make one pass or they'll fish one spot. And they like, oh, there's no fish here. So they'll run, you know, I mean, to the next county to try to find fish. And, you know, and sometimes you may have to do that. But a lot of times... You just have to be where the fish are. And just because they're not here doesn't mean they're 10 feet over that way or 20 feet over that way or even so, even shallower that way. Uh, now, but like I said, we do have conditions that are against us. We have no, no current. Uh, we've had a, a full moon. Uh, so we've got, uh, we've got a lot of things against us. And plus it's hot. I think, I think today's heat index is gonna be like 116, 117. So, Obviously, I got this back up again because I, I spend way too much time out here to try to try to be a hero and you know fight that sun all day. So, but anyway, I got uh, I got white bass and yellow bass. Uh, that my little skipjack hole, it's 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 completely gone. They they have moved on. Uh, water just it just got so hot for them. It's we're at 87 degrees today. Uh, and yeah, so it, it took me a while to catch what I got, but I, I did catch some fresh bait, and that's why I always say fresh bait's king. I don't, I, you know, no matter where you're at. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna get this stuff cut up. Uh, hopefully, we're gonna start, like I said, we're gonna start off in about 40 to 46 feet of water. I think it's what it goes down to out here. And it, of course, it goes up, you know, pretty shallow over there, but we're gonna start here, get about 300 yards, move it. We're gonna come back down, move out, and then we're gonna figure out if we end up catching some bigger fish, exactly where they're laying because we're in that post spawn pattern now um, we just need to figure out at what stage of this post spawn pattern we're in so that way now because like i said in my last video we should get we should be getting closer to a point where we can start uh, putting together a pattern that we can repeat in different spots you know but like i also said is different sections of the river see it seem to be at different stages so but we're going to give it a shot today uh, like i said we'll once i get past it we'll come back and what i'll do is i'll just i'll show you on the map exactly what I'm targeting. So let me get some bait cut up and we'll get to fishing. There's a fish. Did he come off? I think he just came off. Oh no. no, he's still on it. He's just swimming to me, I think. Oh, if it is a fish, he is an itty bitty one. Well, he put the brakes on there. Yeah, he put the brakes on there. He must have just been swimming to me. Nah, he's just not a big one. Well, I was hoping. 
using this white, well, he's not a bad fish. I mean, he's not a dink like we were catching last time, but yeah, he's not a, he's not a dink. Heck yeah. What's up, buddy? Oh, you are all kinds of full of air, ain't you? All right. So like I said in the beginning of this video, uh, we are coming across some good activity now, but we are getting close to this point here. But he came on the, he came on the deeper side, so we're going to see it's that's what I've been waiting on. I don't know if you can see it in the background. Well, we got a barge coming across now because I, I passed him on the way up here. So we're waiting for him to get by. And then by the time we get to this green buoy here, we're gonna run back down and go just a little bit deeper with this setup. See what happens. Yeah, thank you, buddy. Oh yeah, he's he's a teener for sure. Yeah, he's a teener. But I'm seeing a lot of Yep. Nice looking fish. But a teener for sure. Well, well. Yeah, you should be good. Thank you, buddy. Getting the skunk out of the boat. Well you <laughs> oh, it is just me, boy. They, they get a hold of them, them grippers and they just hold on. Oh, man. Y'all. <laughs> this is something else. I have fished here quite a few times before. Man, I just come across something. I don't know if it's a brand new tree. I don't know. I don't know what it is down there. But whatever it is, it stretches a pretty dang long ways. But anyway, I'll go back to what I was talking about, you know, my one of my rigging room talks about how I tie a polymer knot on the other end of that swivel, which it's it's a pain to break but it breaks right there at the swivel that's that's three rods <laughs> so then i'll have to pick up go get that plater board but that's okay and this this one's hung up too oh it came off thank god <laughs> i mean i had three rods and then this one was hung up and i had to break all three of them off that's uh that's something else. You know, I sit there, I caught bait this morning. It, it was pretty tough. I figured, well, I got enough, you know. I'll be able to pull them pieces of bait for a while. Well, that's true. That's true. <clears throat> but when you lose, you know, four pieces of bait because of that, God, that sucks. That's all right. We was going to move anyway. Whew, man. I got, I got him. Yeah. Just a real soft bite. Oh, did he just come undone? He sure did. Oh, my God. Oh, that is terrible. But when they bite like that, it's it's hard to determine if they got it, you know, how far they got it. Oh, man, that felt like a decent fish, too. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. All right, so that makes a lot more sense. That makes a lot more sense. Now, you see how, like, the hook had actually turned back like it had folded back over the leader line so when they hit it of course you know a catfish they they hit it all kinds of different ways so he probably hit it 
and then knocked it like that so the hook didn't even have a chance to penetrate and when there was pressure on it it just you know it was right in line to pull it off huh I feel like a decent fish too you know I ain't gonna sit here and say he was a monster but it felt like a decent one okay well it's I mean it could have been that way when I casted it out too it's 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 hard to say y'all <clears throat> more fish they just when they hit it well they just they hit it from the side top bottom front you know it's hard to say how they would have knocked that that line back around that hook but that would have done it and that would have caused him to come unpinned for sure Oh, there's a fish, there's a fish. Let me catch up to him. Where is he going? I mean, he was pulling drag, too. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. Is he coming up? Like he was, he was legitimately pulling drag. Staying down, that's a good sign. But he picked it up from over there and he was screaming towards the boat. Heck yeah. Oh, come on buddy. Let me see you. Again, not a, not a monster, but He was definitely peeling, man, he's peeling drag there now. <laughs> oh, I love, that's why I love catfishing. That's why I love dragging boards, man. You, you just never know. All right, no, stay over here. Stay over here, where are you going? Oh, that's a good one, y'all. Yeah, that's a good one there. Uh, get over here. I don't know how he's hooked. Well, let me leave him there for a minute. Get the net, I don't know how he's hooked. He's another one that has that hook through him Getting this net, buddy. He's getting this net. No, 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 no. No, 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 come here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man, I tell you what. I wish y'all could have seen it a little better. That's probably the worst, the worst net job I've ever done. And I've had some pretty bad ones. Oh yeah, that's a mid 40s fish there. Now, what I gotta do is I gotta get him off this hot aluminum. So I'll set him right there. One thing you guys gotta pay attention to for sure when it's hot like it is today is remember, especially if you're using an aluminum boat, that is hot. <clears throat> that is very hot. <laughs> but he's another one. It had the hook like it went through him. Y'all, he was just barely, I mean, just by the skin. I ain't kidding you. I want you to see this. Because I didn't think he was hooked all that great. But look at that. Look at that. Look at, look at how much I had him by. Man. And that's about a 45 pound fish there. 
Well, I guess it's better to be lucky than good. I mean, he just barely had it. Come here, buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good fish here, y'all. <laughs> He's every bit 45 pounds. Heck, yeah. <laughs> All right, let me let me get a picture. All right, let's let you go, girl. I think yeah, you're a female. I think. <laughs> Either way, thank you. One more look. That fish is right at 45 pounds. <laughs> Caught by the hair of your chitty chin chin. Thank you. <laughs> Ready to go. Man, that one that hit that rod, that was kind of, he felt kind of the same way. So, I don't know. It is what it is, though. Can't catch them all. But heck yeah, that's a good way. But see, I, I, I'll go back again, and, and I'm sorry for some of y'all that live in states where you can't use white bass or anything equivalent to that for bait. But it just seems like I catch qual more quality fish on that on that bait, that's why I love using it. All right, y'all, we made it to our turnaround spot. Uh, this is gonna be, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pack up and we're gonna go back, all the way back down. But like I said, what I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna go a little bit further this way down to the main channel. Cause like I explained earlier, we got how this, how this particular part of the river over on this end, cause it's an inside bend here. So you got where it kind of slopes down, then there's a, like a flat, and then that's kind of what we're fishing out. Those ones kind of, they were kind of on the upper edge of the holes that are over here, and then now we're gonna go into them. I'm actually gonna put the, the boat, I'm gonna try to keep it on the, the top edge of the holes, so that way these two can be in the hole, and then these rest of everything else will be just a little bit deeper. So we're just gonna move over roughly another 75 feet. It's what I think, it, you know, looking at it, that's kind of what it looks like. But we're gonna pack this up. We're gonna go back down there. We're gonna do this drag again. So uh, I'll pull that and also try to catch that fish, that fish we missed because if he didn't go far, he's still back there and I bet he's still hungry. So we're gonna reel all these in. That's the, that's the one thing. I wanna see if I can go back and catch that fish that I missed. It's been plenty of time. So he, he should done forgot about what was what happened earlier. God, he got it. They're just biting so weird today. It's like they, they're just grabbing it and sitting there with it and like playing with it almost. I mean, he's not a big one. At least he hasn't, pro, you know, shown that yet. But just weird. Even that bigger one I caught did the same thing. They're just kind of like playing with it. It just tells me that, you know, like again, we've had this full moon, so in this clean water, they've probably been up feeding all night. Yeah, he's not a big one. God, he come out of some deep water. Not a bad one, that's a fact. Put this seat down, I don't wanna put him on that hot aluminum. Well. Yeah, he's not a bad one. 
Well, like I said, it's the biggest thing we had to fight today was that, that full moon we've had for the last, I don't know, a couple days now. It's the one thing with this clean water, man, they could sit there and feed all night. Yeah, he's another one in the teens. Oh, just, they are just hateful right now. <laughs> But again, I mean, just another fish. Yeah, he's not a bad one. It's old male. All righty, thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. And he goes. But yeah, that's, that's like, again, I'm saying it. That's just another one that they just kind of grab it and just sit there and play with it. It's what it seems like. All the bites I've had today have been like that. All right, y'all, I'm gonna take a minute and I'm gonna go over exactly what we did today. <clears throat> and then I'll explain uh, why we didn't do as good as I've done most days. But anyway, so, so this is where we're at now. So what I've done is I started all the way back here you can see them, uh, you can see the holes there. Anyway, so I started closer to this, well, still on the, the I guess you'd call it with the ledges. But anyway, that's that the bank I was telling you about. And then it drops off to a flat, right? And then it drops off to the deep holes of the main channel. So I drug up here first, all the way down. Uh, we ended up catching that one fish, then I spun back around. And then I come back, and then of course, like I said, I, I set right on this contour lines here. Then I ended up catching that one fish somewhere right in here. Uh, went back down, you know, of course, fish that, turn it around. So basically, what I done is I took a uh, just a, it's a it was just a 300 yard stretch of river uh, that I wanted to break down, you know, start that side, work to the middle, and then work to this side. Uh, we, you know. And of course, using the bait that I've been using or that I was using today is definitely going to alleviate a lot of the small fish, which, which I like. <clears throat> uh, I don't want to sit there, you know, and keep getting dinked to death like I have with the with the skipjack. Which, you know, skipjack's good. You'll still catch good fish on a, on a skipjack, but I just I've just noticed that I've caught better quality fish on you know white bass, yellow bass, whatever. Uh, so that's what I did. I just kind of I just wanted to stick with this area. And this area only. Now I could have went to different spots and probably caught more fish, but I, but this right here, this spot here, well, this stretch that goes up a little bit further, it kind of gives me an idea where the fish are. Okay, so if, if I had pulled some, I didn't pull nothing out of the deep hole, uh, then that would have let me know that these fish had moved out, or chilling, whatever. So the fish that I caught were on that flat, just like the pattern has been for a while. Uh, and I did get some bites I caught that one fish over there, but he was still closer to the deeper end of the water. So it's been a, it's been kind of weird. Like I said, the, 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 in the morning, there's absolutely zero current, right? So I've got to wait till God, almost two o'clock before I get current. And then when I do get current, so I started off using four ounce weights and then I moved up to five ounce weights and now I'm dragging eight ounce weights. So just to stay on the bottom. Uh, still going, you know, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, but yeah, it's uh, when they, they kind of, you know, when the current turns on, that's typically when you think, you know, hey, is, you know, bite's going to go on. But then again, I'm, this end of the river, probably not, it's probably not ready yet. I don't know. Uh, I, I know there's fish here. I, I seen them on the graph, uh, you know, and the ones that we caught were, like I said, they were decent fish. And those are the ones I want. I don't, I don't want to catch the ones I see on the graph because, if you, you know, my last couple of videos, we, we've, we've caught several, you know, that five to eight to 10 pound range. You know, I'm looking for them 30s, 40s and up. That's what I'm looking for. So you want to get rid of the little bite, just swap your bait up. That seemed to work real well today. I mean, I, I don't know how he's hooked, but it's another one that just did nothing but play with it. 
So I'd watch my board just scoot back, scoot back, scoot back, and unless this is a little one, which again, you can't catch little ones. It's just you don't get near as many, I think, when you're not using skipjack this time of year. That was another one that just barely played with it. It said they may just not be in the feeding mood. And I think this morning, well, I say this morning about noon, I think is about the feeding window for here anyway. That's the way it's been for the last little bit. And uh, I think once you get outside of that, maybe in the evening they'll pick back up, which, man, these bugs are just too bad for me. Good deal. He is definitely the smallest one of the day. Wanted him a piece of white bass. But he ain't the dinks that I was getting messed with the other day. Oh, buddy, I don't want to lay on that. I don't loom them too much. There we go. Yeah, I don't want to lay on that aluminum too much. I got a good looking fish, though. Yep, good looking fish. Alrighty, thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, man, oh, man. <clears throat> well, all right, y'all. I guess on that note, I'm going to go ahead and close this one out. Uh, I, I'm still going to call today a success. We didn't, we didn't catch a bunch of fish by no means. But I come out with a plan, and I only fished a 300-yard stretch of river. That's all I fished. Uh, it just goes to show you, because even like that first pass, which I've seen a lot of people do, they'll catch that one fish, then that's it. They'll be like, ah, there's no fish here, or whatever. And, uh, <clears throat> and that's, you know, not the case. Uh, th there's fish there. You just got to, you know, you got to get there when they're biting, you know, be there when they're wanting to feed or whatever the case may be. Because I proved that, because I went back down and come back up, ended up catching that. He was, he was every bit 45 pounds. And uh, so, and then we come back through again, and then I caught that other fish. It was, you know, he's, I'd say he was probably 13, 14, maybe 15 pounds. You know, so I'm gonna call today a success. I come out with, with a plan and it worked. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, is, is I've done this a lot as far as dragging the same area or fishing the same area the whole day. Uh, and then find, you know, and find different fish uh, because not every fish is going to want to eat at the same time and you know all that stuff but <clears throat> uh, but like some of some of y'all that you know watch or whatever it's just one of this is just one of the little things that I do to help create success you know what I mean so it's just you know I pay attention to the graph I figure I break down an area I figure out where these well I try to figure out where these fish are because they'll make a liar out of you every single time but if you could just if you could just sit down one day and, and just fish an area, and it, not only not only fish the area, but you learn the area. You learn where the snags are, because <laughs> right over there, I had every single rod back here snagged. I had to break off three, so that I, you know that's not bad odds, not great odds, but I've I've fished there a bunch of times, and I've never so. I guess something, you know, we had this all that rain, uh, high water, whatnot. Something definitely blew there. Uh, and, and is now stuck there. So I'm going to remember that. See, that's, um, that's what I'm, I'm trying to say. Is I'm learning this, this sp specific spot of water. What's down there? What's the bottom like? Because uh, like, I know I've went over one of my other videos. It's the reason why I like using, 
you know, more or less a, a solid weight like this because it, it, it really tells me how the bottom is. If it's a soft bottom, you're going to have very little movement in the rod. If it's a rocky bottom, that thing's just going to bounce all over the place, you know. And if it's a hard bottom, it'll be, you know, kind of the same deal, but you'll, you'll feel it like just kind of pull back and, you know, and just do one of them numbers. But anyway, that just helps me pay attention uh, to what the bottom is. Then I can relate that to if I caught fish there, you know, all that stuff. Uh, it's just a, you know, like I said, these, this this video here is going to be full of little tips that I do. Okay, I want you to understand that. It's, it's, this is what I do. I'm not saying you have to do it. It's just what I do to help break down a specific spot of water. Um, but yeah, uh, but like I said, I still call it a success. We, you know, we caught some fish. We caught some decent fish, and I was sure glad to have them. But like always, I appreciate you watching this one, and I'll catch you on the next one.